Speaking of Abbey Road, you know, are we there? Yeah, yeah. Abbey Road really was, they went back to George Martin one more time, realizing that Let It Be was a disaster. And they asked George, would you, would you please produce us one more time? And George said, I will if you let me produce you as I had before. And they all agreed, not really knowing this was going to be their swan song, but this was the last group effort together. And um, John's first song was really written as a campaign song for Timothy Leary. Timothy Leary was going to run against Ronald Reagan <laughs> for governor of California. And his campaign motto was, come together, join the party. So he says, John, can you write me a campaign song? And John says, sure. You know, well, the original didn't end up being quite like. In fact, Come Together was the first time that John was successfully sued for lifting lyrics off of the Chuck Berry song. Now, Chuck Berry didn't sue him, but the guy who published it, Morris Levy. And when you hear it, it's like, let's see. Driving slowly down the wee wee hours I was driving slowly due to drizzling showers Here come old Fat Top, he come moving up with me That's all he needed, you know Here come old Fat Top, he come moving up slowly I don't think the two sounded alike at all But that was enough for Morris to sue John And for John to stay out of court He said, what do you want me to do, Morris? And Morris said, y you record five songs that I own the publishing to which became part of John Lennon's rock and roll album, and will be even. And, and, John, and John the, the connection there was they, that album was produced and held up by Phil Spector, much like the tapes were of Let It Be were stuck right, in Right, but Phil was getting crazier and crazier. You know, I mean, they were dr drinking lots of brandy and cognac. Phil would come, you know, dressed up as a cowboy with guns, and he'd shoot the, the speakers, and John would say, Christ, if you're going to shoot me, shoot me, Phil, but I need my goddamn ears. <laughs> so that's kind of the way it went. Then Phil took off with the tapes, John had to hunt them down a long time later, but finally got them back. Right, right, right. And there's but, the rock and roll album. But let's get back to, to their, what would be their final real production album together, and that sure. was Abbey Road. And they, they really did, although it was very slick, they did get back to their roots of working together, letting the producer tell us what to do, adding string sections, you know, orchestras, trading guitar licks, uh, each contributing songs. I mean, George's finest two songs of all time are yeah. that. Something in the way she moves attracts me like no other lover. Something in the way she moves me Don't want to leave her now You know I believe her now Where Frank Sinatra once sang that song goes, That was my favorite Lennon McCartney song. <laughs> okay. And Abbey Road was a, a well-balanced album because it had a Ringo song on there. It had uh, a couple from John. It even had a song John sang for Yoko, the I Want You, which is pretty strong. Right. And uh, obviously it had Here Comes the Sun Something and uh, Maxwell's Silver Hammer. And what an amazing way to go out. But I think th the way that it really ended, the way the album ends, is kind of how the group ended. Yeah. Let me see if I can play it without blowing it here on piano. I tried learning it this morning, but uh, everyone knows this. You can sing with it. Yeah. Sing it. And in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make. Wailing guitar. Ah, Close enough. Tim Piper, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>